I don't know. I think I like International Falls better. I think it's a little nicer, to be honest. But what's funny is a lady in International Falls told me she likes Fort Francis. She thinks it's more beautiful, etc. It's larger. The population is a few. Fort Francis has a few thousand more citizens than International Falls. But well, that just goes to show the grass is always greener, eh? But I think I prefer International Falls, to be honest. But I haven't checked out downtown Fort Francis. I think I've just taken this Canadian Highway 11 or 71. And surprisingly, the Walmart is out here. It's not further in the city. I had to walk probably two miles at least. But we're just going to do a quick shop and look around at Walmart Supercenter. And remember, Walmart Supercenter is spelled R-E, not E-R. And then we'll walk back or we'll see if a Canadian is so friendly they're willing to give an American a ride back to downtown. But the good news is I, you know, I feel like I fit in the way I speak, the Minnesota O accent. And really you can't tell much difference between Fort Francis and International Falls in terms of culture, other than the signage being kilometers. And of course the interior license plate. But I did purchase a newspaper from Fort Francis from the Indian gas clerk. That was, he was a very, very nice guy. Indian as in from India or from Hindustan. <coughs> but yeah, really no difference. And he allowed me to pay in US dollars, paid him $2 USD, gave me a Canadian quarterback but honestly I parked over in International Falls thinking I wouldn't be allowed over and I just hope the parking lot that I parked my vehicle in is uh, safe that I'm able to park for perhaps five hours I didn't even check the signage I was pretty sure it's by bars and restaurants so I should be all right but I really thought I wouldn't be allowed to pass. And they allowed me to download the app right at the, uh, right at the customs, a beautiful building. And well, they let me, so I had all my paperwork and documents in order. So I just went for it. Really nice, really nice on the Canadian side. And I know CBP will be cool on the way back with my global entry. So here's Walmart. We made it. Wow, look at this. Yeah. Ooh, this is one of the crappiest Walmarts I've ever seen. They just haven't renovated. That's what I meant with the RE, English spelling of center. But uh, yeah, I noticed the drivers here are very friendly. They'll stop an extra three feet ahead of the Americans to let the pedestrian pass. But I prefer the Latin American way where vehicles have the right of way. He the, who is bigger gets the right of way, but. We'll see how this Walmart is, man, look at this. Weird times. Let me show what's in my bag. See, there's the Fort Francis newspaper. Whenever I'm traveling, I always get the newspaper of the city to learn more about the area. I have my Tim Hortons litter I found. And I'll have to consume this or they'll give me a sticker. <coughs> Showing that I already paid for it. But I can finally say I've been to Fort Francis, Ontario and officially Ontario. I flew into XYZ or whatever the airport code is for Toronto Pearson International. 
I flew Air Canada out of MSP to Toronto, then from Toronto to Bogota, Colombia, once. And, uh, but I'm officially outside of an international airport. So I've now been to Manitoba, British Columbia, Ontario, and I think the Yukon. I took a train over to Yukon when I was in Alaska. So getting to know my North American neighbors better. This looks like an old Kmart or something. I'm gonna try to see if people speak French. Look at that red flag. Alright, here we go. This was an old Kmart. This is the worst Walmart I've ever seen. 